Hello everyone. After my last video, which was just an upload to satisfy a friend's interest in my car, I thought I'd make another one just in case there's any other interest in, you know, any more information about this car. So, this is my first car that I bought for myself in high school. I've been toting it around for me, or toting it around with me for the last 20 something years. Um, bought it in 1995 or 96. I'm having a hard time remembering now, but uh, originally came with a 2.8 liter uh, engine, the fuel injected model, as well as a 4 speed automatic 700R4. Over the years, I've been using this car as a practice <laughs> to learn about uh, working on cars, as well as, you know, trying to figure out what other options I could shoot a horn in here because this car came with nothing. Um, during my turn time in the service in California, I would uh, often go to the junkyard. Uh, Californians would wreck their cars all the time, pick and pull some of the pieces that actually made sense to put in my car and uh, put them in here. So let's take a little look at here, see what we got. Um, you may remember from the last video, the dashboard here, that mileage is not correct. Um, that came out of a car later model than this one. I think it was about an 88, maybe 87, something something with the V8 originally in it because my car came with an 85 mile per hour speedo. Uh, the gauges in the middle were not original as well or the tack. If you remember, some of the V6 owners might remember that the uh, instead of a tack it had a giant fuel gauge. <laughs> Didn't really make a whole lot of sense. But I got uh, as much of the junkyard options as I could so all those were pretty much plug and play. Um, you can see I replaced the steering wheel along the way. Uh, the dashboard had some cracks. Uh, the bottom piece, not the top, obviously. Replace that with one I got out of the junkyard. That's kind of a pain in the butt to pull all the way out. You can see some wiring hanging down over there, because like I said, this is kind of a, a beat-up Camaro project. Um, and I actually put a engine in here that did not come with the car, so I had to use an aftermarket fuel harness. I'm still kind of working out the bugs, and that's mainly the point of uh, these videos. But it did try to clean it up for you a little bit. You can see that I have added the power windows and the power trunk release option as well. Uh, the manual transmission actually had to uh, pull this whole console out and cut a hole in there. Yeah. Working the transmission I got from the junkyard as well. Uh, if you look down there you can see I tried to get the original clutch pedals and all that. Trying to stay true to the car as possible. Uh, on the door you know, those, are the, uh, those are the options for the uh, power mirrors and the power locks and then I had to come up with something interesting to get rid of the uh, window crank so these were on a car in a junkyard as well so most cars junkyard pieces obviously you can see I need a new windshield and a new dashboard mm. we take a walk around the car. you can see I got a little bit of a uh, cancer spot right there in the body but most of it's intact still these rims uh, came off of Z28, that that was a junkyard as well. Uh, V6 owners might remember that they came with steel 14 inch rims instead of these aluminum 15 inch ones. So these aren't terribly clean, but I do have another set that a buddy uh, provided as soon as I get around to it. Thank you, Todd. Um, this is the engine you saw in the last video. Like I said, it's got a couple problems that I'm trying to resolve, uh, like a high idle. I just want to get the car back to a uh, drivable state. Some things you might notice here, I did try to keep the, uh, the fill for the clutch as original as possible as well, but you know, added a couple things along the way. So this manifold, uh, I believe is out of a 1986 Corvette. I bought it off of Yahoo Auctions um, in about 1999 when I first had the idea of putting on fuel injection. Uh, the headers we put on the car when we couldn't afford a full original exhaust system. Uh, we couldn't afford this manifold either. So it originally started out as a carburetor with a Carter 600 manifold on it. And then along the way we got this manifold. The engine is actually out of a 1987 1500 pickup truck. Matt correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it had a four bolt main and that was the only reason we went with that option. You can see a lot of other things uh, aren't original as well. These brackets were off of about an 88 Camaro for the accessories, but they, they were the cleanest look, so I went with those. Um, tried to use original air cleaner. 
Uh, had to get a little creative with the fuel lines there. Braided fuel lines. Uh, let's see. So 87 engine, 86 manifold. We went with about an 88, 89 distributor that had the external coil, which you can see there. Uh, just to clean it up just a little bit more. Could use a, a better mount job, but the last video showed you the car running after the injector swap. So it had a couple misfires from clogged injectors, but these are the new Bosch's that are at 22 pound per hour. If we take a step back, you can see that this side is missing some of the uh, appearance package or the ground effect. Again, the nose and the tailpiece are out of the junkyard as well. Uh, those were donor pieces. The fenders, those came off a donor car because the original ones when I bought the car uh, were a little beat up. So, you know, trying to salvage as much and make it look presentable. But, you know, some sometime along the way I'll have to get a paint job. As you can see here, <laughs> the hood's pretty beat up, but it's mostly straight. Uh, I would like to get a fiberglass one, maybe a Z28 one with the louvers, but nothing too fancy. And on the back of the car, I added uh, the lenses, but that uh, that wing spoiler you might recognize off of a Trans Am model. And then, just wanted to point out, if we duck under the car, you can see the exhaust system cut off since... <laughs> Getting at the fuel pump in the tank is more of a pain than I was willing to uh, to deal with. So since it doesn't have any original exhaust, I went with that. Looking on the back of the car, we have the uh, tail lights. The original V6 tail lights were a little bland compared to these, but uh, these were donor donor car lenses as well. So if you guys have any ideas or stuff you'd like to see done to the car, let me know. Uh, we'll give it some consideration, and I'll just keep you posted on the progress of this bad boy. Thank you.